Hey guys, welcome to Three Mississippi. I'm Sid. I'm Mike. Oh, I thought I was going. I'm Frankie. One of these days they'll get this act together. Maybe, maybe not. We are taking this shenanigan on the road here. Safety's off. We are going fishing. Let's go. You're already stuck on something and we're not even fishing yet? Yeah. So sometimes they run cattle over here. Right now there's no cattle over here, so it's a good time. Ooh, lots, lots of raccoons. Of raccoons. Yeah. yeah. Ton of raccoons. That means there's of, fish. That right there, Frankie. That right there probably is real good. It should be noted that last night Mike and Frankie practiced tying knots and casting and got some new poles and reels because some of the ones that we had didn't do so well in transit and they were really old. So got some new gear and we're ready to rock and roll. It is kind of similar to a, what they call a Texas rig, kind of a lazy version of a Texas rig. So what we did Okay, we put oh, our yeah. worm on there. We got a slide and sinker. Yeah. Okay. A little wormy dude. And then we're gonna take that worm and we're gonna push it all the way through. See how it sticks out the back? Yeah. But now think about this. That could get hung on weeds or something, right? Yeah. So I'm just gonna bury the tip ever so slightly in the worm. Mm -hmm. So now it's kind of weedless, but if a fish bites down on it, if it's a big enough fish, now this is not gonna fit, catch a super small bluegill. They might bite at it, but what you want to do, you see this right here? See, that's where the line rides on, yeah. okay? You want to point that straight up and down, grab your line like that, mm -hmm. okay? Then you're going to flip your bail over, mm -hmm. and you're going to 
Watch my finger right here. As I flip the line forward, I'm gonna let go. Okay. Now I'm gonna reel it back in real fast so I don't catch anything. But that's not what you're gonna do. When you I'm do that, you're gonna leave it there until I tell you what to do next. Okay. Okay, now flip your bail over. Now look up the tip of your rod. Make sure it's not tangled. Looks good to me. Okay. Now, as you get, swing it around your shoulder. Now, as you as you sling forward, let go of the line. Oh, that's not good. It's all right. <laughs> that was your first cast ever. <laughs> okay, so now when that, when that happens, okay, I want to bounce it off of there. Now, just let it sit there. Okay. Okay, now tighten your line a little bit. A little bit more. Bump, bump. Okay, a little bit more. We're real like five reels. You're on something, Mark. Yeah. Nope. See, every time you bump, you want to take up the slack, bump. See how big that bump was? Yeah. And then take up the slack. And you're waiting for something to make it, to grab it, okay? We're going to try to get away from that spot right there. Still fish near that spot, but see those bigger stumps out there? Mm -hmm. I want you to try to hit just like that, okay? Uh -huh. That's what I want you to shoot for on your next cast. But first, fish that cast. Okay. Little bump bump, because I'm not fishing. I got weeds. A, I'm not fishing a weedless rig. <laughs> I got weeds. Okay, now flip your bail. Now look up at your rod tip. Make sure it's not wrapped around the end of it. Now swing it around like this, and then point your finger where you want it to go when you're when you're done casting. And that's when you release. Not that finger, the finger on the bail. That's where you yeah. release. Just, oh, well, just, just point right where you want it to go. That I was a little high. Still do that. The reason it went so high instead of the you know distance is you let go too soon. Oh. Okay, now listen. I want you to listen for a second and I want you to think about this. Okay, watch this. Watch my bait. Okay? Gotcha. I'm gonna go just like this, that movement, twice. Once, I'm gonna let go right away. See how high it went? Okay, now I'm gonna do that same movement, okay? Oh, you I'm gonna do that same movement, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna let it go as soon, okay? So I went about like that, right? Okay. Went farther, right? You know why it went farther? Because I let go at the correct time. So when you cast that line right there, what you did is you let go when you're pointed straight up instead of when you're pointed out where you wanted to be. So hold that for a second. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to bump that off of there. Okay. Trying to see if there's a way I can get over this. No, there's not. Oh, see, did you see how it just went twisty twisty around it? Woo, we got lucky. <laughs> we got lucky. So you want, when you get up in a tree like that, you wanna to try to pull it back off of that dangle slowly, okay? Because if, it, if you try to pull it back too fast, when it's dangling over a limb, it'll wrap around that limb like it did right here. And then luckily the limb that it wrapped around was a dead dry limb and it broke it off. There's a bass in here right now. This rig you're fishing should catch it. Are we catching and releasing? Cause we didn't bring any like cooler situation on. You don't need to bring a cooler baby. <laughs> Before we worry about whether or not we're releasing, you got the tip. That's true. If you're gonna be fishing like all day, typically what you do is you have what's called a stringer, which is like a chain and you hook it through their mouth and their gill and you leave them in the water with you. Like that's what I would do when I was like in a belly boat or whatever. I would just leave them in the water. And then when you come in, you clean them. And then you put them in the frying pan or the freezer. Hey now, we got mama fishing too. Right. Frankie's fishing a plastic worm on the bottom over there. I didn't do a good job with that. I had one little one that was like bait, but I got all the way to the shoreline and then it got off. Oh. Frankie, good job. That was a nice cast. You're getting that, uh, yeah, you're getting that spinning rod figured out. I actually like this, this one. It's a little bit mouse bit up here, but, you know. <laughs> well, 
12 That's the best rod to start on, a spinning rod. Nice, good bump on that rig. Keep that line tight. Let it sit for a second. Fish his nose down on it, looking at it, going, what's going on? And then you bump it again. Bump, bump, go ahead. And then give it a second. Wait for him to smack it and then just hit him like he's your stepmom. <laughs> Something you need to tell me that she has a stepmother? I don't know. Maybe you are the stepmother. Oh. oh, Sid's got one. Come on. No, she don't. Yeah, I do. Still on yeah, she does. No, he's on there. He's a little. Oh, this is, well, you caught bait. Woo! You caught bait. Good job. I got one. <laughs> Good job. Now get the hook out of his mouth. Yep. Okay, hold on, sir. Hold on. Oh, you're spiky. Yeah. You're that's spiky? right. You you were holding him right. Ow. Maybe come in and at him from the belly. Did he bite you? No. Now he's got some spikes on his back. Spike got me. Do exactly like you just did it, but from the belly. Thank you. <laughs> Mike. Come on. Open up. Open wide at the dentist. Oh, there we go. All right, now pull that line out of his mouth. I think it's just... Okay, now, that's fine. You can let go of all that. Around now, him. you want to grab him by the lip. Grab him by the lip, and then okay. walk him over to the edge of the water. He's all yours. Your fish. Oh, Willie. Okay. You could have just set him in. Oh, I, thought, <laughs> I always, when I fish, I don't, like, I, I fish to releases keep them. them. She releases them aggressively. As she well, she's them. only ever been trout fishing, Frankie, yeah, I, I, and we don't throw those back. Yeah, we always keep the trout. <laughs> yeah, no, you you don't really have to throw them like they're in a circus act. You can just <laughs> toss it into the edge of the water. Kind of a little bit. Stabbed me good. <laughs> That's all right. I'm sorry. She just threw that like I used to throw frogs over the yeah, that was that well, was a I little didn't bit extra. I was supposed to like be like, I'm sorry you had a traumatic experience. Please go gently <laughs> She's back like, Let into me the add water. to your trauma. I was like, oh. <laughs> I think that's the same one that was screwing. That's funny. <laughs> Frankie got a fish. <laughs> get it up. Get, get it out of the water. Right. Get it out of the water. Let yank it up. All the way. All the way. Frankie, Here, pull, 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 pull. Grab your line like this. There you go. Now lay your rod down. You just laid it down on a bunch of other rods, but that's all right. It's okay. All right, listen. Put your thumb in his mouth like this. Be mindful of where that hook is. I don't know where it is. Hold on. Look at me. Okay, I'm looking. That hook's me. awful close, so I'm going to help. Okay. okay. Help. You grab its mouth like that. Okay. Okay? And then you take the hook out. Oh, I see what it is. Like that. Can we keep this one? No. I'm too oh. small. But that was your first large mouth bass. Wait, can she hold oh, it? Frankie, put your finger yeah. in its mouth put your finger through in its a skill. And then hold it up so I can get... That's your first largemouth bass right there. Hold it up to me. I got a fishy. Again. Can I name there's him? There's much bigger fish out I want here. to name him. Go ahead. Name him as you let him go. He's dying right now. He's, He's dying. dying to meet you. He's Mister. Senor. Gonna, He's just going to be Mr. Mister. Mister. I don't know what to name him. Good job. You got your first fish. I'm oh, proud of you. He's so tangled, you know. Well. It's yep, now you got to fix that. That little guy had his way with it. Dude, what'd you do? He That's was like, happened. this looks like a snack. That's what happened. They 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 chew on him. Oh, it melted. I don't think it melted. It looks like it melted. No, that fish didn't have acid saliva. So when we were at the store buying stuff. When we were at the store. Uh, somebody made a comment about this particular Oh it was me. Crawdad. Yeah, and about was, how pretty it was. That was me. I said, this and is pretty. I made a comment, something along the lines of, "That's ridiculous. That thing will never catch a fish." But then I got to thinking, that's exactly why it will, because I said that. So we bought it. So I'm gonna put it on and see what happens right now. See if he can catch. Can I do it. That's perfect. Yeah. There it is. Let's see. Got a little. There's sparkly so the light's real bad right now for filming but it's real glittery real purdy all right let's see what happens 
I'm gonna fish this spot that Frankie's been fishing. I'm gonna laugh if you get like a monster on the first, <laughs> first cast. There's a bug on my lens. Get off my lens, bro. This is an ultralight rod too, it's a trout rod. It's good for like perching, maybe crappie, but uh, <laughs> the rig I just put on it is capable of catching a five pound bass. And this rod is not capable of catching a five pound bass. But I'd certainly try if we hooked one. I don't think there's five pound bass in this pond. Nah. There we'll might see. be a couple of one pounders. And those would be real fun on this rod. What line do you have on it? Eight. Mm. Well, I've got a bigger reel on here. Yeah. This reel is made for a medium size spinning deal. Frankie fished this spot pretty hard. <laughs> she did. She was doing good. Yeah. Well, that was fun. I have not been fishing in a minute. Uh, caught a little tiny baby bluegill. Uh, Frankie got a few nibbles, caught that one fish. Mike lost one that was on his line um, because we were trying to get Frankie to look to see how to set the hook and he waited too long and it got off. We're gonna try one other little pond up here um, before we head back to the house. Um, Mike had thrown his back out working on the coop yesterday moving some uh, like fencing material. And um, so couldn't really work on the coop today. He's feeling better. And I think this is a good little exercise for him. You have to take a step backwards, baby. You can do it. All your even the spots that look dry are gonna be muddy down here. <laughs> Girl, you stuck. <laughs> Frankie, the more you struggle. <laughs> they did not teach children of today about quicksand like they did the children of the 80s. Let me just say. You're going to have to leap and just come out your boot. And go that way. Hold on, let me get this real quick. Because I'm slowly sinking. I see that. <laughs> Hence my comment about quicksand. Take a big step to the, a little further back. Further back? Yeah. Oh, crap. Well, not there. That's bad. I meant further back where the rocks are. Oh, right there. I don't think I can get that far. Okay. To your, to, listen, listen. To your right and back. Right there? To your right and back, yes. Keep going. Pull your boot out. Pull your foot out of your boot. There you go. <laughs> <sighs> Dang, you got it stuck good. It's really in there. <laughs> Hold that. <laughs> Just lay that stick down so you can stand on it. Don't try to dig with it. Well, it's very, very. If, if you try to dig, you're just gonna make it worse. You're gonna have to suction it out. You're gonna have to learn how to get your foot out of the mud, Frankie. Pulling your foot out of the boot is not the way to do it. She told me. I told me she was so stuck. She was not coming. Well, y'all should have called me. You gotta twist your foot, your boot in the mud while your foot's in it and then pull your heel up and push down on your toe. You can't.
Just said he caught a crappie. 